I'm Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Foodell Kitchen. Pasta is a staple in my household. It is so versatile and it's such a great addition to just about any dish. Whether it's winter or summer, you can make something great with pasta as a base. I want to have a look at some basic shapes and why you might use a different shape for a different type of dish. You're probably familiar with the noodle pastas, but let's just have a look starting from the thinnest to one of the thicker varieties. First of all, the thinnest noodle pasta is angel hair. It cooks really, really fast. This is delicious if you're doing a very light dish, maybe a summer dish with even an uncooked sauce, just some fresh tomatoes, basil, and maybe a little Parmesan cheese. Angel hair pasta works really well for a very light meal. Then if we start getting a little thicker on our noodles, these are spaghetti noodles. They wind really well around your fork and they're perfect for any kind of sauce. A little bit thicker than that is linguine. You can probably, although don't tell the Italians, you can probably use linguine and spaghetti interchangeably, although it is a little bit thicker noodle, so it's gonna be a little heartier. And here I also have fettuccine, thicker still. This is great for a cream sauce because the cream sauce sticks to the noodles and you really get a lot of flavor mixed in with the noodles. We also get even thicker than this with pappardelle noodles that get really, really fat and they're delicious for a very hearty, wintry type of meal. Anytime you get those thick pastas, you're going to want to have a hearty dish and I think cold weather when I think of hearty pastas like that. Here I've also got some shaped pasta. You can get these in a whole variety of different shapes and sizes. I've got some bow tie pasta and some penne pasta, which are little tubes. These are great for baked pasta dishes because they're thick and they're hearty and they can withstand the cooking in the oven without getting soggy. You can buy them in seashells and little corkscrew shapes, the little pig ears shapes, all kinds of different things. They're also really nice for presentation purposes. If you're making a salad, they look pretty on the plate. Finally, I've got some very small pasta shapes. I've got some orzo right here, which sometimes I use in lieu of rice for certain dishes. It's really great for adding to soups and stews, just to add a little bit of starch and substance to the dish. I've also got couscous in two different shapes. Couscous is indeed pasta. It's made from semolina flour, typically. This is a very finely ground couscous, and it's actually cooked already. All you need to do is rehydrate it. You boil the water, you add the couscous, and you just let it sit undisturbed for about five minutes. This is called a Lebanese couscous. There's also an Israeli couscous which is slightly smaller. This does need to be boiled because otherwise it just would just take too long to rehydrate. But again, a quick cooking pasta, great for soups and stews or just making a really delicious couscous dish. So once your water comes to a rolling boil, add your pasta to it. Quantity is about two to three ounces per person, depending on what else you're serving with it. You want to let it cook pretty much undisturbed. Give it a stir so it doesn't stick together. And also, add a big healthy heaping of salt as soon as you add your pasta. That will keep the water boiling. Cooking time on pasta is going to vary depending on what shape you're using, but all pasta should be cooked al dente is the term, and that means firm to the bite. So when you bite into it, you don't want to mush, you want something that you can actually bite into and tastes a little firm. You can also remove one of the noodles and cut it open. This works with any pasta, and if you see a little white core in there, that means it's not done yet. You can also taste it, and that'll really tell you for sure. It needs a little more time. I really encourage you to keep a variety of dried pastas on hand in your pantry. They keep for a long, long time and they make for a fabulous quick dinner. You can use all the leftovers in your fridge and just create something on the fly or use some of the great recipes on Foodell. Also, be sure to try the whole wheat pasta. Good protein, good source of fiber, much better for you. Bon appetit.